So, uh, hello and welcome back to my um, tutorial series for the Age of Empires 2 uh, scenario editor. Today I'm going to talk about uh, manipulating uh, units and building stats. And yeah, first I'm going to show you some examples and then I'll explain how this works. So, um, here we have a cable named Godric. And I want to get here, back home, but there's one problem, a palisade wall. And um, this palisade wall is so buffed up with armor that I don't do more than one damage per attack, so it would take forever to get through that. So what I'm going to do is um, burn down this blacksmith to get better weapons. So I got 16 bonus attack and 4 bonus armor for doing that. Now I'm attacking again. But you can see I'm still not doing more than 1 damage per attack. This is because um, I gave those palisades 100 extra armor and um, the armor is uh, constipated it in this way that it's um, one armor plus one damage so if they got 100 damage uh, 100 armor they um, I would uh, could have a 100 attack and it will do the same amount of damage as uh, one because a uh, one is the minimum amount of damage you can do so let's move to some to something else it's another look and he knows how to throw his saber so if I kill him well, I'll learn that too. I got extra uh, view range and also extra attack range. It looks a bit uh, awkward <laughs> um, with the units, but hey, as long as it works. So, and uh, if this opened archer dies, the speed of the kill gets doubled. And now back to the objective. I still didn't find a way to get past this palisades uh, without yeah, hearing this slowly to death. But um, there's also yeah um, you could call it a problem of the armor buffing of buildings and units. This doesn't affect um, attack bonuses. So if I would this uh, when this uh, camel would um, attack a a uh, cavalry unit, it would get five bonus attack, even if that um, that unit would have uh, like 500 armor, the five bonus attack would still uh, affect that unit. And the same way, these rams, uh, the siege ram, will do the normal amount, it's 200 bonus damage with these buildings, so it can get through that very easily. So let's um, see how it was done. Um, yeah, first I uh, decreased the health points and changed the name, but that's yeah, it's um, um, quite important that um, every time you create an effect, there is a minus times uh, before the number. But um, yeah, if you delete that minus. Uh, it will yeah, add the amount if you will set, let it stand there it will decrease the amount but you can't um, yeah, rewrite it there so if you by accident delete that minus you have to delete the trigger create a new trigger um, change object HP and then the minus is there again I don't know, but um, the editor somehow doesn't accept minuses. So, um, let's go to the text. So, um, I changed the HP of the blacksmith um, down to, um, it has normally 1,800 health. I decreased the maximum HP of 1,700. 
Um, and if you do that with um, damage object, uh, it would let the blacksmith burning, and um, yeah, you would see the health bar is uh, almost empty. But when you use the change of HP with a neg negative value, it would ju just uh, decrease the maximum um, HP and not the current HP. So it would have 100 out of 100 instead of 100 out of 1,800 health points. Um, yeah, and as you might already also have noticed, um, I destroyed the black blacksmith with one attack. Although uh, the attack points at that point were only six, that was because um, you remember when I said um, every uh, point of armor blocks one damage. Well, that's uh, also true for negative armor. Every point of negative armor adds one damage uh, to the attacks of units. So if you decrease the armor, I don't know uh, how much armor the blacksmith has uh, in general because it's a hidden value. But um, yeah, if I decrease that by 100, um, the camel can one hit the blacksmith because um, yeah, 100 damage gets added to every attack the camel does or every unit would do to this uh, building. Um, yeah, and here's um, just positive value for armor and positive value for attack. Uh, by the way, if you use negative values for a, a change object attack, it could, can sometimes lead to strange results. It may work, but um, as far as I know, it's, it doesn't get displayed. So if you, for example, have a unit with six attack and you um, make a trigger that decreases its, uh, its attack by three, uh, it will say uh, 6 plus 3, although it's only 3 a tick, so it's uh, kind of bugging that respect, but yeah. Um, yeah. Paul said it's nothing too shiny, it's just uh, 100 armor editor, so it's the direct opposite to the blacksmith. And you see, um, unit without a bonus, attack bonus uh, tail buildings will only do 1 damage per attack to these buildings. Um, Okay, that's uh, <laughs> nothing special. When it's like the house, you get siege room. Um, here, um, this is also quite interesting. If I change a unit's range um, by a negative value, so let's just delete that. On and just edit here. A new effect, uh, change object range, a unit range, by minus, uh, let's say, minus 3. And I select this. Yeah, player one. Uh, you'll see something quite interesting because, um, well, it basically has uh, yeah zero attack range um, as it is a melee unit, but um, along with the attack range, also the view range gets decreased. So um, this is the minimum view range you, the unit has um, can have, and it's. Quite interesting to yeah disnerve with this to simulate something like night mode or um, yeah stuff like this. So you see it can still attack; it just uh, has a decreased view range. Um, when you do this to um, rangers, of course, they will also have decreased attack range. Um, where was I? Here, when you want to do something with with uh, change unit speed, uh, you have to bear in mind that um, the quantity here is um, a one point of uh, yeah unit uh, of speed change will be 10%. So if there's 10 standing, it means that the unit gets 100% faster. If there's ne uh, this uh, also um, works with negative values. Um, I don't know what the minimum speed of a unit is, but I know for sure that the maximum value of a unit is the same speed of a cobra car, so you can get really fast with that. And this trigger is again just the object and area, um, and then declare victory for player one. Um, another inter interesting fact about uh, negative values here, um, I don't think that they are um, doomed makes sense, any sense at all, because um, this uh, trigger works in this way that um, you need to have at least one here camel in this area. 
when you type a minus one here, um, the program, uh, yeah, the the game will um, uh, test the condition if there is more than minus one camel in this area, and even if there's no camel in that area, uh, it will say that it is true because uh, there's more than uh, minus one camels in this area. So. Uh, negative values here uh, I don't make any sense, I think. Yeah, um, this were most of the important things uh, you should know about manipulating triggers, uh, manipulating stats by triggers, and um, yeah, thanks for watching.